This is Gunnar and Annette. This here is their home. Potted plants and remote control, but love life they disown. Gunnar now is 55, Annette is 53. Once she was a stewardess, now she serves him tea. Here they sit, the two of them, a hundred channels each. And in the flat right under them lives 18 refugees. Gunnar and Annette, they don't mind foreigners as long. As they close the rubbish chute and play well along. Sometimes Gunnar and Annette go for a walk and breathe some fresh air. And Gunnar, as an unemployed, then likes to people scare. <coughs> Gunnar and Annette own a dog called Ragnar. He was found on a holiday abroad and named after Annette's grandfather, who once worked at the railroad. Annette collects the new spills she has done since the age of three. The headlines tangle up her soul, and she cannot break free. Mainly working class people live in Annette's and Gunnar's blocks. And on a public bench sleeps Hassan. It's time to say a prayer, but he is unorthodox. When Hassan was very much younger, he used to be promising in sport. But nothing came about, and now starts the latest weather report. Annette reads the tabloids. Big survey on the people's best intercourse technique. Sadly, the only workers' movement that has not already reached and lost its peak. At times, Gunnar has been thinking that he might just drown Annette one day. Or he might wait a little while. They might find out a better way.